القاهر ذريك The petroleum industry has become one of the most important segments in the Egyptian economy for some time now. The people involved in this project had been working towards the goals of developing and modernizing the equipment and procedures for hydrocarbon production in the onshore and the offshore sectors. A drilling rig is the backbone of the hydrocarbon projects for the oil and gas industry and the development of that industry. Huge efforts had been made to raise the level of equipment quality, technical expertise, and accelerate the work process, and at the same time, reduce the cost of the drilling and completion time frame, while still holding safety as the main consideration. This project was established in 2008 together with Toyota Tsushu Corporation, Egyptian natural gas holding company, and Genoub El Wadi Petroleum Holding Company to construct and lease two of the most advanced rigs to be operated in Egyptian waters. The total project cost was about 560 million US dollars. This project had a special Japanese governmental financing arrangement from the Japan Bank for international cooperation, together with financial support from nine commercial banks. Under the leadership of the Ministry of Petroleum, this project will definitely contribute to Egypt's strategic plan to increase oil and gas reserves and assists to control the market price. ODC had entered into a reconstruction contract with PPL Shipyard on the 30th of April 2008 to instruct and build two jack-up rigs, P-2023 Al-Qahir 1 and P-2025 Al-Qahir 2. Construction period can be divided into six phases, starting from first milestone called steel cutting that was scheduled to be on November the 11th, 2008 for the first rig and also March the 3rd, 2009 for the second rig. Second milestone is key laying, scheduled to be June the 4th, 2009 for the first rig and October 15th, 2009 for the second rig. The third one is main deck completion scheduled October the 6th, 2009 for the first rig and February the 13th, 2010 for the second rig. Fourth milestone, which builder first shift the rig to the sea, is named launching, scheduled March the 3rd, 2010 for the first rig and July 15th, 2010 for the second rig. Fifth is leg election, scheduled May 20th, 2010 for the first rig and the 18th of October, 2010 for the second rig. final milestone is the delivery, which literally means the completion of the construction, scheduled November the 30th, 2010 for the first rig, and February 28th, 2011 for the second rig. EODC made big efforts during such period to complete the construction of the rigs based on the highest specification available at that time. Al Qahir 1 has been loaded onto the heavy lifter on January the 11th, 2011. Start sea passage on January the 13th, 2011, went through Cape of Good Hope 
and took 43 days to reach Egyptian territorial waters on February the 25th, 2011. Second, Regal Qahir II has departed from the yard April 1st, 2011 and sailed out from Singapore on board of the heavy lift vessel April the 2nd, 2011. It is expected to arrive to Egypt at the end of May 2011. The total construction time of the first trick took 749 days and 727 respectively for the second rig. The project man hours have reached almost 2.5 million for first rig, exceeded 3 million for second one. During the whole construction, project team have contributed over 2,000 punch items and over 1,000 comments to the drawings, actively participating from the moment when the first steel plate was cut till the departure of the rigs from the shipyard. The construction of both jackups was completed within schedule and great saving of the budget. After the delivery, both rigs went through the enhancement process, during which, when they were equipped with a number of additional components and outfitting items to improve the functionality and reliability. Both units were then inspected and surveyed by qualified third-party inspectors, scoring very high marks as stated in the final reports. Al Qahir 1 has arrived. This rig was designed with the highest safety standards and the most up-to-date oil field equipment and technology available included in the package. The total cost of the reconstruction was about 213 million US dollars. The rig is a Baker Marine Pacific class 375 which is designed for 375 feet of water depth and to be able to drill to 30,000 feet, utilizing an 18 and 3 quarter 15,000 PSI BOP stack. Al Qahir 1, which is a 3 leg self elevating cantilever type mobile offshore unit, was built in Singapore by PPL Shipyard, and Dry Toad used a heavy lift vessel to its place of operation here in the Egyptian waters. When you reach the rig floor, you will find yourself surrounded by a large variety of equipment, which is in line with current requirements of automation, where the human element of manual labor has been removed and replaced with electronically controlled equipment, which makes the task safer, faster and easier thereby reducing the amount of labor required for a drilling operation. The drilling operation is controlled from the air-conditioned driller's cabin. Here, the driller and assistant driller sitting in their cyber chairs have a range of touch screens, controls and communication devices available to them, which allows them to control the complete drilling operation safely and efficiently. Mm -hmm. 